Thanks for watching TechWiki. Click the subscribe button, then enable notifications with the bell icon so you won't miss any future videos. We've all been there. You're up late working on a report, playing some Overwatch, or just catching up on those Netflix shows you're too embarrassed to tell anyone you watch. You reach for your drink without looking and BAM! A torrent of Mountain Dew spills into your laptop and try as you might, you never get it working quite right again. The solution? Well, I could say it's to be more careful next time, but you guys know what you clicked on. Let's talk about the ruggedized devices out there that can survive way more than a bottle of soda. Companies like GTAC, Panasonic, and Dell offer laptops that look less like what you're using to watch Tech Quickie in class right now, and more like something the president might use to order a military strike. But just how tough are they, and what specifically allows them to survive in extreme conditions? To start, let's talk about how they resist two of the most common environmental hazards, water and dust. Since water droplets and dust particles are very tiny, fully ruggedized laptops employ strategies that go beyond screwing on an enclosure to keep them out. The electronics inside can be sealed via techniques like injection molding, which can not only protect against rain or water splashes, but also allow prolonged use in very humid environments. Uh, think about a soldier deployed in a tropical setting. And sometimes engineers even fill enclosures with non-conductive silicone to ensure that nothing can touch your sensitive components, a technique called potting. Potting is also an effective way to protect the electronics inside from our next hazards, falls and vibrations. You can think of it like wrapping a fragile item in bubble wrap before you ship it. Some ruggedized laptops don't fully pot their electronics though, instead coating them in a thin layer of waterproof material and installing aluminum stiffeners, which can also help to absorb a shock before it reaches a, a PCB or other sensitive component. But what about heat? Doesn't all this sealing and reinforcing prevent heat from exiting the chassis? Great point. It turns out that not only are some of these sealants chosen for their thermally conductive properties, so the sealant itself can carry heat to a cooling surface, but manufacturers can also place cooling fans strategically so that water can't hit the motherboard through outside vents. Usually this means placing a fan outside of the sealed inner electronics chamber or running heat pipes through the chamber wall and sealing up the cracks. Of course, the simple fact that modern mobile processors run much cooler than they did a decade or two ago helps too. Our next hazard is less obvious. Heat is bad for electronics. But what about cold? Devices working in extremely frigid conditions can end up with water condensing on their sensitive components, causing them to short out. For that reason, some ultra-rugged laptops even integrate small heaters so that, let's say, researchers studying penguins in the Antarctic won't have their computer freeze at an inopportune moment. Okay, so then penguin scientists, sure, but who else needs this kind of stuff? Well, part of the reason that ruggedized computers exist at all is that they're designed to a military spec for use by armed forces and defense contractors. Some are even tested in acidic environments and against gunfire vibrations to ensure that they can withstand the harsh conditions of the battlefield. The hardiest laptops are even built to an IP spec of 69K, which you can learn more about up here, meaning that not only are they fully dustproof, they can also survive high temperatures and even high pressure spray downs if they need to be washed. So, Pick some combination of these protections, plus a toughened glass display, which you can actually learn more about here, or a, a touchscreen that can be used with gloves on, add powerful backlights and a high contrast panel technology so you can see what's happening on the screen, even in bright sunlight, and you got yourself a laptop that can go pretty much anywhere you can. Sounds great! Rugged laptops for all! Okay, hold on a second. 
Ruggedized laptops do have some common issues. A big Achilles heel is I.O. Although ports can be protected with tight sealing covers or plugs, they are still a potential point of ingress for outside contaminants, especially when you open them up to use them. And while some manufacturers have somewhat mitigated this problem by keeping the I.O. electronics in a separate chamber from the main housing, kind of like our fan example earlier, this still means that your ports can be damaged in harsh conditions, even if the rest of the system stays usable. And, unsurprisingly, all this ruggedness can come at quite a cost, especially for fully rugged military grade models, which can go for over $10,000 each. And that's without the latest Core i7 and SLI graphics cards. But with all of that said, if you're finding yourself constantly playing League of Legends around your messy roommates who don't seem to care about what they spill or where it goes, can you really afford not to get one? Tunnel Bear VPN. It's super easy to use. They've got apps for iOS, Android, PC, and Mac. They've even got a Chrome extension. And all you gotta do is pick a country, turn Tunnel Bear on, and boom! Your internet connection gets encrypted with AES 256-bit encryption, and your public IP address gets switched to some anonymous one. So, you know, whether it's an advertiser looking to profit from your data, or your ISP wondering what exactly it is that you're browsing and downloading, that all that stuff gets anonymized. And TunnelBear gets past all the annoying details that typically come with using a VPN for personal use. No port configurations, DNS, router settings, nothing like that. It does it all in the background. They've got a top rated privacy policy. They don't log user activity and you can try it out for free with 500 megs of free data. No credit card required. If you like it, all you got to do to get a year of unlimited data and save 10% on it while you're at it is go over to tunnelbear.com slash Linus. So thanks for watching guys. Dislike, like, leave a comment with a suggestion for a future video. Check out our other channels and subscribe.